kitchens and baths are really my passion, although I do every form of design from as little as a window treatment to uh, subdividing um, commercial buildings. Um, but I love kitchens and baths because I really think that that's where people spend most of their time. And the kitchen is the hub for um, parties and family events. And what I always say, the difference for me between a commercial project and a residential project is that residential is so intimate. Once you get into doing the kitchens and baths, you really, you know, are in somebody's house for a long period of time. And you see how they live and you see how they um, interact with their spouse or their significant other. And it really is a wonderful situation. And although I tell them there's going to be strange people in the house, it is going to be dusty. At the end of the day, you'll be happy. And I'm glad to say I haven't had any divorces or separations <laughs> through all the time I've been doing it. So this class is going to be interactive. As you see, I've brought a lot of stuff. You're going to have to do a little bit of drawing, which is going to be good, so we can go around and talk about what your kitchen looks like and what your dream kitchen looks like. So, you know, um, just through the newspaper and media and everything else, that the kitchens and the baths are where you wreak the most amount of money. So any house I do, they, they actually really get the most amount of money on their block because if you don't do your kitchen and your neighbor does their kitchen and you both put it up for the same amount, obviously, where, what house are they going to go to? Because as soon as they, a buyer comes into the house, right away they go, ching, kitchen, 50,000, you know, ching, bathroom, whatever, however much. So we're going to talk about prices and we're going to talk about um, what's new and how to survive a remodel.